Projects like these, even small projects, are very important for our planet and for the planet's future. The build-up of clothing across the world is becoming massive, and these, these clothes aren't being recycled, they aren't being reused, they're just building up and going to landfill. We all know that landfills is a bad thing and it needs to be reduced to its absolute minimum, and this project's helping that. I'm Rachel and I founded the Sustainable Sequin Company uh, with the aim of making um, sustainable embellishments for the, for the fashion industry and I'm working with the Biocomposites uh, Centre at Bangor University to develop a bioplastic film which I can make into sequins. So I first came across Rachel at an event that uh, the Natural Materials Association were hosting in London uh, and she had a fascinating idea around uh, sequins and around the fact that uh, fashion has become so transient these days. I started looking at um, appropriate durability of clothing, so particularly party wear, um, things that women might wear on a night out that might have loads and loads of sequins on it. Um, but what I found was that um, people tended to only want to wear those types of clothes two or three times because the pictures would be on Facebook and Instagram um, and then the next time it came to a party they'd want something new to wear. And then that piece of clothing would literally become waste within the wardrobe. It'd get moved into the wardrobe and it would stay there because um, there wasn't anything appropriate to wear it to or you'd bought something new, but it was too nice or too expensive to take down to the charity shop. Um, so it just became a waste, a waste of resources, a waste of materials, a waste of the labour it took to make, make the um, garment and also um, a waste of potential joy through, through wearing it. Um, so I wanted to create sequins that had a lifespan that was more appropriate, that lasted two or three wears um, and then could disappear harmlessly. And what I wanted to do was commercialise that, so to make sequins which were biodegradable um, but could also be washable, um, so the, uh, the degradation was, uh, was more controlled, it, it would happen at end of life in, in composting. Um, so I met Graham from the Biocomposites Centre at a Natural Materials event and um, he said that he would be able to help me with my project. I thought it was a great idea, and especially, especially in these days of cheap, fast clothing. But the idea in the project is to take a biopolymer, uh, something that's used for packaging in, in many applications today, and create a sequin that has the same luster and colour vibrance that, that traditional sequins have, but then at the end of life, so, so within six months or three months, it, you will be able to break it down, so compost that sequin and turn it back just into simple CO2 and water and then that will be good for the environment. The Biocomposite Centre is a industry facing department within the College of Environmental Sciences and Engineering. We don't teach undergraduate but we do take on postgraduate, so PhD students, but really we're there to do research with industry and through industrial collaboration. At the moment we've managed to make a bioplastic film which will biodegrade, um, which, is, which is excellent, and the next stage now is is to produce some really nice colours um, and to also work on the um, shininess of the sequins. I hope the future of this project is that we will be able to produce some really beautiful, bright, um, shiny sequins that um, will uh, biodegrade safely at end of life.